All of them were in the uh, suit-up room at roughly the same time. Uh, our first shot is of our commander, Ken Cockrell, a uh, former Navy te uh, test pilot, uh, preparing for his uh, fifth flight to the, aboard the space shuttle to the International Space Station. He's been an astronaut since 1990. And our pilot, Paul Lockhart, flying for the first time today. And coming up next is one of our astronauts that will be remaining on the space station, Valery Korzun, a, a cosmonaut and colonel in the Russian Air Force. And he, in fact, will be the commander of Expedition 5 on the space station. Another member of our Expedition 5 crew, Sergei Treshoff. And this will be his um, first flight into space. And this is Franklin Chang Diaz, uh, also a mission specialist, making his record-tying seventh space flight, a record that he'll share with astronaut Jerry Ross. Again, all seven astronauts walk out of their crew quarters. Commander Ken Cockrell, pilot Paul Lockhart, mission specialists Philippe Perrin and Franklin Chang Diaz, as well as Expedition 5 crew members Peggy Whitson, Valerie Korzun, and Sergei Treshoff. And the ground launch sequencer has indeed begun the retraction of the orbiter access arm. This is the walkway used by the crew to gain entry into and out of the vehicle, and it can be returned to position within seconds if necessary. OTC, PLT, caution warning cleared, no unexpected errors. OTC copies. And again, everything looks good, and we are cleared for launch. Advisors, initiate O2 flow. Advisors at O2 flow, thank you. T-minus two minutes and counting. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavor's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T-minus 20 seconds and counting. 15. 12. 10. Seconds. 10. Nine, eight, seven, we have a go for main engine start. Five, three, two, one, zero. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavor, extending our reach while expanding our research in space. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavor. All program. Three new residents headed for the International Space Station. Endeavour completing its roll, 51.6 degrees inclined to the equator. The shuttle heads down wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. 37 seconds into the flight, three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance. That will reduce the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Endeavour Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Ken Cockrell aboard Endeavour. He's joined on the flight deck by pilot Paul Lockhart, flight engineer Franklin Chang Diaz, and mission specialist Philippe Perrin. The new Expedition 5 crew, Commander Valerie Corzoon, and flight engineers Peggy Whitson and Sergei Treschoff, seated down on the mid deck. Endeavour already 11 and a half miles in altitude, eight miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Three good main engines, three good fuel cells, three good auxiliary power units. One minute, 40 seconds into the flight, about 25 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. Endeavour traveling almost 2,400 miles an hour. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation.
booster officer confirms a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel, aiming the shuttle for a precise keyhole in space for main engine cutoff. Endeavor 34 miles in altitude, 41 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, beginning to pick up speed. Endeavor Houston, two-engine Maroon. Copy, Houston Maroon. That call from Capcom Bill Ophelein indicating that if one main engine should fail, we could reach transoceanic abort site at Maroon, Spain. The orbital maneuvering system engines have now ignited to provide Endeavour with a kick in the pants heading uphill toward the International Space Station. Once again, uh, the crew on board the International Space Station, Yuri Anufrienko, Carl Walls, and Dan Bursch were informed uh, of the successful launch of Endeavour by Expedition 3 Commander Frank Culbertson, who dropped by the uh, Capcom console in the International Space Station Flight Control Room a short time ago. They, of course, uh, were delighted at the news. What did you say? Yeah, waiting for you. Hello, she Poirier. The shuttle has launched. It's on its way. All right. Good. Thank you, friend. To the most, man. I know you would be happy to hear that, but I wanted to say hello and uh, uh, congratulate you guys on a fantastic mission. Uh, you have a lot to do yet, but uh, you've done a great job up there, far exceeded what's been done before, and uh, we're very proud of you. Thanks, boss. Uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. Won't be long, Carl. Yeah, thanks, You're man. welcome. See you all later. Right behind the orbiter docking system is the mobile base system. That is uh, the platform, basically, uh, which will be mated uh, to the mobile transporter on the S-0 truss of the International Space Station. At the very rear of Endeavour's cargo bay is the Leonardo multipurpose logistics module, the cargo module, uh, that is carrying uh, several tons of equipment, food, and supplies up to orbit for the uh, soon-to-arrive Expedition 5 crew on the station and the start of their four-month increment on orbit. 